All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Hellhound93, and I'm playing Resident Evil Remake. Yes, this is my first time playing Remake. I have played the old one, but not this one. Uh, I do apologize if my voice goes or if I cough any time. I think I may have just got over the flu. Uh, so I do apologize in advance. And you know what? Without further ado, let's just get into this game. I'm very, very, very excited. Uh, I'm playing this on request. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get into it. I mean, they didn't give me... Uh, <laughs> so creepy. They um and they didn't give me any kind of thing like what they want me to play on like the settings wise like they wanted it on easy or hard or anything like that. So I, I don't I don't know you know like all right let me have a look at this one like climbing a mountain fulfilling but takes a lot of work. All right how do you like your games? Well um all right. I like going on a hike. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. Strenuous, whatever. Um, like talk, like taking a walk. You can relax and enjoy yourself. You know what? I'm gonna have to go with this one because I do like relaxing and enjoying myself. So, right, who do we be? So we be Chris because he's a guy. Oh, oh, what? Wow. Come on. <laughs> That's pretty that's pretty good. I, I like how they have the DLCs on here already But I mean if I'm gonna be using a Resident Evil 5 deal or Chris on a Resident Evil 1 game That's not gonna look right. So but you know what we start with a gun with Jill, so I'm gonna be Jill All right guys, I'm gonna let you guys watch the intro because I'm gonna have to pause this now. So yeah Let's, let's just enjoy the intro guys. I mean, I've never seen the intro on this one either. So I heard it's different So we'll find out Hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. I 
mean, damn. Josie still dies. <laughs> so nothing has really changed much. He dies by Cerberus, and they still chase him and shit like that. But it's different. Like they, they, the whole setting is different. Like they're in a forest. There are only three Stars members left now: Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house. That's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. All right. I mean, the graphics in itself is kind of giving me the creep. I mean, you know. <laughs> How many times did they open that door? Three times. A couple things are still on logic on this game. Alright, let me have a look. How, I, how do I... Okay, that's how I access my map. Got it. How do I access other stuff? Triangle accesses my area. For my uh, stuff. What? What are these? Defensive items? Is that like a taser? Is she really got a taser? For a defensive item? Damn. Alright. Fair enough. How do I aim though? Alright, that's the aim. I'm guessing X is to shoot, hopefully. I know it's to pick stuff up. There we go. All right, yeah, and that's the uh, that's the save point right there. Oh, you can quick turn. I like it. I like. It. Oh, do you see those boobs wobbling? That's pretty awesome. Uh, no, not the boobs wobbling, but I mean the fact that we can quick turn. That's pretty cool. All right. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? What? Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. I mean, you know, the old classic Barry, I mean, he was better like, what is this? What is that? What's this? I have this. I like it. <clears throat> I like how he says all that on the old one. Are we going to see the same thing when we walk in here? In the double log. All right, let's let's go around the corner. Oh fuck, that's creepy. I mean, shit, dude. You just ate that man. All right, I want to know if it's true what people say when you come over here, like. He has stuff on him. There we go. So it is true, okay. It's the film that belonged to Kevin. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Okay, so he actually does have a thingy. Alright. Oh, so this guy here now does not have ammo on him. Okay, I got it. Three shots from a fucking magnum. Where the fuck were you shooting? What the hell is this thing? Stop, there we go. I found <laughs> Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to West. I mean, it's in the shape of a human, but it's a thing, right? Okay. Very intelligent, you guys are. Alright, so. Hmm. What? Did, did that just. What the fuck? That just took three magnum bullets. That cannot be alive. I don't care. That cannot be alive. What the fuck? It's disappeared? No way. These things... Oh. They've enhanced this game. Like, this game's gonna be here tricky. 
If they've got zombies getting back up after three shots of a magnum, holy shit. Alright, let's go see what I think my bobby knows. Wesker! Wesker! Oh, he didn't say it. Uh, Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay, let me have a look about then, Barry, because I like looking about, you know, I might find some things that ignite and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, they have like a basement here now? What's, what's this about? I better finish searching, okay, I better finish searching the hall then. Okay. I wonder if that room's locked. That, that, that room right there is normally locked, so. Alright, so I don't know, and I'm going to come upstairs in a minute. Wait, is that- there's a door here too? Wow, okay. Oh, that's what Barry. I have to do. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker! There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try he, the door on the other side. He just came from the- okay. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Well, thank you. I could do a lockpick actually, because I hate having to run around finding keys. Something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. All right. I got it. I mean, I wanted to go in the dining room again, because, like, you never know, they might have pizza in there. That's why he wants to go back in. But anyway, I want to I wanna see if it works on this one. Like, I, it automatically runs for you. It's a like. I like it. Does it work on this one? Oh, it does. What? One got in? No! Get off me! Oh, why did she just open the door like that? Like, she shouldn't open the door like that, Jill. You should just... No! Get off me! You can't be eating me, dog! Get off me, you dumb fucking look! Fuck! That- oh man, that fucking scared me! Never doing that again, shit! I thought this place was safe! It makes me wonder now, do I even want to come down here? So, um, I heard that on the remake, uh, Lisa's on it, on the weird looking thing, so I just want to know if she's on this one too. I don't want to know, man. Fuck that shit. I'm out of here. Fuck that. Fuck that. It's not about fucking hearing that noise. Just like opening a door to go get some fresh air and then a fucking dog jumps through the fucking door. And then you go outside for a bit of fresh air and then you hear, um, you, hear, you go back in, kill the dog, go down near the basement and then you hear that. Sounds like an old woman that didn't take a medication. Oh man, this guy. His throat is being torn out. Well, no shit, he was getting bit by a fucking zombie. I mean, I don't know if I should be shooting things on this game or whatnot, but... I know I've got to try and conserve my ammo. I mean, I get very, 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 very... <laughs> like, as you guys could probably tell, I'm getting quite nervous right now because, you know... Like, I've never played this this uh, Resident Evil before, and it's quite it's quite nerve-wracking because I don't know exactly like what to expect because everything is different. So you know, it's one of them. Hey, what is this? There's a corpse collapsed on the floor. It look like looks like it has an an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? All right, so that's an instant death, so I don't have to worry about that. There's a dead raven. Alright, so there's a dead raven inside there. Um, I don't know if that's something on the other side of that that I can grab. Yeah, it's ammo. Thank God for that. I mean, normally the zombies are at the top of these stairs, so we'll find out. What the fuck? This game has changed. This is unreal. I'm not sure if I even want to play it anymore, man. It's quite... 
scary if I'm honest. Alright, more herbs. I like it. When you find herbs, I like it. Because then I, sh I don't have a reason to die, basically. But always mix herbs together. Like, that's something you should always do. Because it saves rooms as well as other stuff. Right, this guy is easy to walk through, so what is he? Is this the way? No, I can see that zombie in the mirror. Alright, I don't want to go that way. I don't know if that's the way to go. Let me have a look in here first. Like I said, guys, I have, um... No, I don't want to go that way. Alright, as I said, guys, this is my first time playing this game as a remake or a remaster or whatever you want to call it so do do bear, bear, tender, bear, bear, bear with me as I will you're not dead and I know you're not dead you're dead now so do you can you reload yes I like it you can reload your guns like that okay so yeah guys bear, bear with me on this um because like like I said I've never played it before everything on it is new to me like all that that's just new like the arrow thing it's new to me all right let's have a look around here oh ammo I like it we got more ammo so we got 24 ammo we got 15 and 24 so that's good All right, where do I go? Which room? I see. I want to go check that other room too. I don't know what the arrow's for. I mean, do I put the arrow somewhere? All right, it's locked on the other side. Never mind. <clears throat> I mean, guys, you know, I love playing Resident Evil. I mean, even if I die, I still love playing Resident Evil games because you know, <clears throat> it's one of the first games I played when I started becoming a gamer. So one of them oh look at this is this the is this is this the dining hall place oh, it's, oh is that a knife all right okay i have these little defensive things <clears throat> using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy however you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind to equip the defensive item go to the status screen status screen sorry status let's see fuck it i don't know and then select an, in, an item from the defensive item menu. The select, and then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual, the controller settings you pr must press L2 to use the defensive item. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now actually. So I'm gonna go to defensive items. It's equipped, and it's on. I don't know if it's on manually. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, that's, I think I remember this, this area here. What we want to do is we want to push this down. Oh fuck, that scared me. You fucking scared me, you dumb zombie. Where the fuck are you? Oh, you dumbass bitch. I'll come to you in a minute, okay? Bear with me. Alright, well, oh, he's on the other side. Can't shoot him from there. I'm not even going to try and shoot him from there because it's going to be a waste of ammo. No. See? Nah! Get away from me! Are you dead? I don't think you're dead for some reason. I just don't think you're dead. Well, you are now, though. Okay. I, I can't see blood from up here, so I don't know if he's dead or not. Um, if you guys, if um, anyone's watching this and you know uh, about the arrow or anything like that, can you tell me about it? If I haven't figured it out already. <clears throat> Alright. So, there's more places for me to check. Like, um, I haven't checked down here yet. Like, this room here. Oh, I can come out. Nice, I can come in this room. Oh, it's, it's gonna stone it. So, is this a graveyard? What? Oh, damn, fuck. Fuck, this is creepy. Fuck. Why? This is some creepy shit. Okay. 
Oh, he's got the arrow there. Okay, maybe I can put the arrow inside there. Okay. Alright, use. It won't fit as an independent light. Okay, so do I take it apart somehow? Ah, yep, yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, it's a peridot. Very useful item one, never one. Well, it used to be, now it's not, but... Alright, yeah, so now I can use the uh, arrowhead and put that on, right? Nice. Alright, let's go into this... What the... She just turned around on her own, I don't know why that... That scared me. What the fuck is this noise? Why am I getting so creeped out of a Holy fuck, that's some scary shit. Okay, I don't like that coffin up there, come on. Alright, yep. We'll take the buck of the cursed. And then we want to get the fuck out of here as soon as I can, thank you. Up, up, down, up the stairs from the crypt. I really don't like this fucking place. I I really don't like graveyards mainly because like I got a I got a phobia of ghosts and graveyards are mainly full of ghosts and shit like that. So I'd rather not be a oh fuck that scared me like oh my god. Um, I'm gonna be very jumpy during this gameplay guys because like I said I've <laughs> never played this one before oh well I know when bugs that are closed you open them but I didn't expect to see a key at the back of it that's pretty cool nice and then it automatically opens book of curses the four masks a mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. Okay, when all four fall in place, evil will awaken. Well, really? You expect me to fucking go and do that? Like, come on, let's, 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 let's be real, okay? I'm not going to go and wake up the evil dead, okay? That's just not cool. I've seen that movie. I've seen books with evil curses and shit. Yeah, the same movie, sorry, not fucking bugs. My speech today, guys, is horrible, so I do, <laughs> I do apologize for my speech today. Alright, so I need to push this out of the way. I mean, I... I'm not sure if I use this to get the map. But I'm gonna use this anyway, because I don't see no little stairs that you usually use for the map, so to get them up so I'm gonna use this seems like a reasonable thing to use all right let's get up this uh, yep all right give me the map give me the map you dumb statue all right yeah I like it so now you showed me everywhere I've been everywhere I need to go and stuff like that I mean you know the, that's uh, I think that's the crypt so there's a place in the graveyard where I haven't been, which I'm really not excited about. Um, but yeah, we got basement, we got first floor. I mean, um, can we go wrong? All right, so I want to look in here. Normally in here, there's like ink ribbons and all that good shit. So I don't know what's in it. Like, where's the zombie that's normally in here? Nice, okay. So he's giving us a break from having a zombie. Like trying to grab us from when we're walking here like there's normally a zombie lay here on the first one that grabs you so I'm glad they got rid of that that's good what oh fuck I knew they wouldn't get rid of it that's just bullshit this guy's scary man get the fuck away from me get the fuck away from me man get the fuck away from me you fucker yeah don't fucking try no really and I'm here talking about the zombie on the floor that grabs you and look at that bullshit that was fucking bullshit, Capcom. That fucking nearly gave me fuck. All right, what's my health like? <laughs> Obviously, I'm on caution. I mean, fuck. I got fucking grabbed a few times by a dog. I never know if got humped by it. You know, that dog normally needs li uh, lock picking, pick locking, whatever it's called. I was gonna say lick locking for some reason. Um, pickpocking. No, never mind. Um, 
Okay, is this fuck was that? Jesus fuck game. All right, yeah. So they may still have the ammo here, and I think that's one thing they ain't got rid of. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a defensive dagger. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, you can normally tell these things because like there's always like areas where you know things are different than others. Look, look at the cupboards. Like that one looks realistic. This one does not look re realistic at all. But it has got something underneath it, so seeing some sparkly there. I mean, which is my ammo. Nice. So the defensive tank is where the ammo is normally uh, where there's normally nothing. So I mean, I'm surprised at that part. That part is normally the bane of my existence. On number one. It's quite fucking scary. Oh wow. Like I thought there was a cutscene there then. Just the way she was just standing there looked like there was gonna be a cutscene or something. These halls are normally safe, but something tells me that just the angling on this game like Fuck Look The angles on this game are gonna give me an heart attack. Shit Alright, so that's um this place, I used the lockpick. Right, I used the lockpick for this area. I don't even want to go in there, to be honest. I don't even know what to expect anymore in this game. Man, that fucking scared me. Like, the way she was just taking her time to open it. Wait. I'm sorry, but no, okay? Just no. I remember that part from on, uh, the first one. When correct dogs will come out at you. I ain't doing that shit. I'm not doing that shit. Mm, fuck that. Alright, so this place is the bathroom that's normally here. And normally you flush this and there's a key. They, they, they drain that and there's a key inside it, so. It's pretty decent. Nothing there. Okay, so I'm gonna have to drain this water. And try grab the key. I like that because there's notes at times on Resident Evil, the first one. It just doesn't have now in it. Like, um, oh, oh. Jesus. You know, like, that, no, man. Just no. Just no. Just no. No. This game is gonna give me an odd time. Shit. Alright. So. <laughs> Why am I playing this shit? Okay, so I wanna go in this room now. I hope this is the one with the shotgun. Because it looks like it is in, like, in certain areas of the yeah. Okay. So it is, the area with the shotgun. Which I'm glad about because I could do with it, to be honest. Alright, there's more ink ribbon there. But you've got to like it. And there's my beauty. Come here, baby. I got you. I got you. Alright. I mean, I don't know if this if it works on this one like it normally works on the other one, but yeah, the ceiling's gonna come down on me. Um, and hopefully, you know, Barry comes and helps me because I let him kill the zombie at the beginning, or went to them and kill the zombie at the beginning. So hopefully he comes out. Oh God. All right. What did I do now? You in there? Barry? Get me out of there! The door's jammed! Stand back! Grab my hand! close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. <laughs> really? Thanks. 
But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Alright, so he's gone that way, I go I come this way. I mean shit yeah, guys, that's a that's a classic. That was too close. It was almost a chill sandwich. I love that. That's one of my that's one of my favorite scenes in this whole game. Okay, I can come in this room, nice. Oh hallelujah. <clears throat> Alright, so I mean Luckily I've not run into too many zombies. Oh shit! Fuck off me! Fuck you! Fucking son of a fuck! Bitch. You fucking nigga! Okay. Oh, yeah. oh my god! He's not dead either. He is now. Mm, bitch. Fuck. Sake. That was too close, man. Jesus. All right. I'm here. What is that? There's still plenty of kerosene. Okay, yeah, there's still plenty of that left, apparently. So, what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna grab everything I need to grab in here. Like, is this something I grab? Okay, oh, another thing for me to read for you guys. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to seize their resurrection. Incineration and destruction of the head. Okay. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. Meanwhile, to those of you who still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with. Which you'll need to find by yourself. Okay. I'm guessing this is the canister for the uh, stuff. Oh, of course I can't carry no more stuff. Thank you, game, for, for noticing that for me. Hey, look at that. I got Thursday spray. I got, uh, I got, I got everything here waiting for me. Look at that. I like it. I mean, I, I guess I chose easy mode, which isn't funny, to be honest. I don't like easy mode, but, you know, it's one of them. Like, I didn't know which one to choose, so. Obviously, I chose the easy mode, which isn't funny, because I don't want to play it on easy, you know. Refill your canteen. Yeah, I refill my canteen. Thank you. Okay. And we're gonna save it here guys um and then we're gonna end it because like like i just said to you guys this is my first time playing this so i'm not gonna have the first one a very long episode oh that color mm -hmm. my favorite color that is purple right so you know it's gonna be one of them like and yeah i'm sorry i haven't uploaded in a long time guys i've uh i've been busy on neverwinter trying to get my character up a lot um been kind of occupied on uh, Fortnite too so I'll be uploading a few videos of Fortnite um, soon um, I'm not going to be live streaming for a while until I can get a bigger audience um, so until I can get a bigger audience it's just going to be gameplay parts to be honest um, other than that guys uh, yep this is this is the end of part one I hope you guys enjoy if you do leave a like subscribe share let these let, let, let this channel go viral I want, I want, I want, I want to see the support that you guys used to give me I want to see it all come back because you know I love you guys so much because you guys have been supporting me all the way through my YouTube gaming area and it has been so much it means mean so much to me guys so yeah leave a like share subscribe and comment guys let me know what's going on at the bottom um, and I will reply to you guys if I can so yeah See you guys later for part two. Part two may come tomorrow, but I'll see you guys later. Bye.